So we bought the mystery box from the guys over at Food Circle Supermarket. Fifty pound. Um, it's guaranteed to have a cup, like a, a couple of boxes of protein bars in, um, and a few other things. Really, they say that the net worth is like a hundred pound RRP. So it's pretty good. We have got a little bit of damage. However, protein always tastes good, so we are not overly worried with that. Let's get into this. Probably should have got some scissors. I had a knife in my room, so we shall do that. Um, use that and see. Very well packaged. Lots of uh, sellotape. So we haven't really said we're obviously doing a live unboxing. See what we get if we've reviewed everything. Um, so if you don't know, the guys over at Food Circle Supermarket sell um, like protein bars, protein snacks, monsters, energy drinks. Um, they sell some with their perfect date on. And then they also sell some with um, like short dated. So it stops food waste, which I think is a lovely thing to see with the whole saving the world one protein bar at a time. There we go, let's get through this as well. Um, so, go, look at that. Like a knife through butter. Also, I've scribbled my name out in case any of you weirdos wanna try and watch me posing in my pants, so. We've got mystery solved, and then it's not solved because they've covered it up, the sneaky devils. So let's have a look. First of all, we have not reviewed these. I've had them before, so we've got a 12 pack, I think it is. Um, a 12 pack, or is it 15? I can't remember. But anyway, 15 grams of protein per fulfill bar. Yeah, 15, 15 bars. So I've had these before, not officially reviewed them, but they are very good, so we'll be looking to get that deliciousness. The Builders Protein Cliff Bar. So these are a little higher calorie. I do have one of them to review. I don't know if it's this flavor. I have had them before as well. They're very good. So we shall have a look at that. That's a 12 pack, 20 grams of protein per one. Bang on. Then we have got some Skinny Food Ketchup. I've got the Skinny Food like salad dressing or Italian dressing at the moment. And that's very nice actually. So per serving, 10 mill milliliters, you're looking at only three calories. And um, being on prep at the moment, uh, I am fairly, like I'll allow myself to have sauces anyway, but something like this can smother it over your chicken or your air fried chips, save a load of calories um, compared to like your normal Heinz. I've not tried it, so potentially give that a review. It is vegan friendly as well, so. That's good to know. We have got a banana flavored U-Fit drink and I've had a few people say that they'd like drink reviews. So that's something coming in as well. I've got a coffee one and a protein and a chocolate one of these already that I bought the other day. Um, so I'm stacking these up and then we'll, we'll start reviewing beverages. Then what have we got here? The Protein Ball Company, lemon and pistachio, seven grams of protein, six vegan friendly protein balls, 174 calories. So fairly high calorie for protein serving, but probably a fairly nice snack. We'll give them a little review. Six cherry Bakewell vegan egg white protein balls. So these aren't vegan even. I said vegan when I lied. I just lied to you, not vegan. Egg white is not vegan, but still sound tasty. We will destroy them. Oh, a little high protein fuel, protein breakfast, milk drink. What are the macros saying on this? 218 calories for the beverage and 20 grams of protein. So for a shake, that's not bad. We will review that as well. And we've got another breakfast on the go. Weetabix, I think this is fairly low protein from when I've seen them before. Yeah, 8.5 protein, but something potentially to pour over some oats, which will make breakfast that little bit tastier. These I have had before, 
I didn't do a full review. I didn't do a live review, I don't think. So caramel pretzel and glazed donut. I've not had the glazed donut. One of my mates recommended that to me. So they will be getting reviewed. Oh, I've not had this one yet. It's buzzing. So next up, sorry, I'm like a little kid on Christmas. <laughs> this is what protein bars do to me. And limiting myself to one a day when I've got like 15 in stock is very hard. And now I'm going to have all these tempting me. We're going to try and keep one protein bar review up until like, I don't know how close we can get to the comp, but we're going to try and keep it as like my little treat of the day, which is how sad's that? This is my treat of the day, but I don't care. Cupcake, confetti cupcake. One of my mates that I recommended this company to bought this the other day. He hasn't had it yet, but we, will, we shall compare reviews and see. One thing with all the reviews I do, um, I should say that it's all very personalized at the end of the day. Like you can see me eat it, but some people kick off when I don't agree. We've got a strawberry cheesecake, oatine, flapjack, low in sugar, 18 grams of protein. For a flapjack, what are we looking at? 246 calories. So that's not bad actually for, for a flapjack. We have got two vegan friendly pro to go raw. I've already got a couple of these. The guys at Symix sent me over a little care package to review. So I do have some of these. I don't have this flavor though, I don't think. Cranberry and date. Sorry, and this was pe uh, beetroot and chai. So these are quite low protein like and high calories. So 190 calories because they are quite small, like 13, 14 grams of protein. So again, carb to fat to protein to calorie ratio isn't banging, but if you're having it as a little snack and also when it's vegan, you unfortunately you have to sort of accept that because the lean sources of protein are quite often not vegan friendly. Cliff Nut Butter Bar. So don't plant-based. I don't think this is going to be a huge um, like protein snack, but we do love we do love some nuts in and around our mouth. 220 grand calories. So have a look at that. I've already got one of these, not tried it yet, but the um, cupcake raw bar. Another one of the pro to go vegan cranberry and date. Yes. Now this is what we're talking about. Fulfill um, chocolate peanut. I've not officially reviewed this one again, but I've had it before. Although it is the snack size variation, it's, it's only got 15 grams of protein in. Um, I'm pretty sure that this has potential to be the best peanut flavored bar. So that's getting smashed this week. This week. I might not even put a vote on it. I'm just gonna go rogue. Then we have a chocolate almond fudge Cliff Energy Bar. Again, I think they're fairly low protein, high carb. Stax RX XX even bar. 21 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, one gram of impact carbs, which is those sugars. 253 calories. So we've got two of them. They're the same flavor, white chocolate and raspberry, white chocolate and raspberry. You've got your kind just snack bars again not going to have a huge amount of protein in them we won't class this as a protein bar review 218 calories fairly tasty i have had them before then we've got another bar is this the one forest fruit smoothie added collagen if you know me you know i've got real shit knees three knee operations deep so a little bit of added collagen that's quite nice. I might do a little bit more of an in-depth look at that. 30% protein. So you're looking at 24 grams of protein per bar. What are the calories saying? That is the kicker. Nearly 300, 293. But we should have a look and see. It feels like you're going to burn about 20 calories just by chewing the fucker. And then, oh, oh, an oatine cookie. We haven't had an oatine cookie. We've had a few oatine things. 
this is one thing that, oh, there we go. It's like, I couldn't find what it was saying. Nearly 300, so 297 calories, 16 protein. So the calorie to protein ratio isn't amazing. That is a salted caramel flavor. So that has to be very flavorsome to get a good rating with that those macros. And then we've got some plantain. I don't know the difference between plantain and banana. So if anyone does know, drop in the comments. Whilst you're down there, like, share, subscribe. Ah. Um, plantain crisps. So we'll try them. And then finally, some, a little meal. I say little because it's 161. 161 calories and 15 grams of protein. That's pretty good, actually. We'll try that. So it's like a little pasta meal. So I'm probably now going to do a cut scene where I'm like, bang, this is what this is. This is what this is. Quick fire. Bop, 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 bop. Um, but yeah, so this is the Food Circle Supermarket mystery box unrevealing. They're going to do this monthly. So if we like it and if we get through all these in a month, I mean, we won't get through those in a month because that is nearly, what, 40, 24 bars. We've, we've probably got a fair few bars here. We've already got some stacked up, but I am always one to stack up on protein bars and things. Um, so maybe we go again. So if you come to this section, we're just going quick fire, bang, what, what it is. Six protein balls. Six more protein balls. Protein flapjack. Nut filled flapjack bar. Not necessarily high protein. Snack size fulfill peanut protein bar. Oatine cookie. Oh, this was meant to be quick fire. Confetti cupcake hype bar. Two nut bars, kind. Two stacks bars, 21 grams of protein. Almond and chocolate, cliff bar. Cupcake flapjack. Four vegan bars. Almond and cranberry and date even and beetroot and chai. Protein bar with some added collagen, smoothie flavor. Ready to drink Weetabix. Let's get through it, let's get through it. High protein strawberry breakfast shake. High protein banana shake. Low calorie ketchup. Battle bites glazed donut, battle bites. Caramel pretzel. Instant pasta meal, 15 grams of protein. Plantain chips. Oatine cookie. 12 pack of protein bars. 15 pack of protein bars. That was the quick fire. Oh, my delts. Can you hear that? <laughs> the ice cream man's here. 